hey guys welcome back to next gen blog uh, and in this video i want to show you how you can add movement around a static text in vscc free video editor now it's actually super easy to add movement around a static text in vscc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this first i would like to write some text on top of the screen so to do that go to add object Go to text, click on text and now click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has. Now let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write let's say text. Now let me center align this particular text by going to paragraph and selecting center. And once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align. Let me also change the font of my text from Arial to Montserrat Black. And let me also increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 650 pixels. Alright. Now double click on the text object. Now the way we are going to add movement around our text is by using the crop effect. So you need to go to video effects, go to transforms, select crop and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the crop effect is the entire duration of my text object in the timeline which is 10 seconds. So you need to reduce the duration of the crop effect to somewhere around 3 seconds, 333 milliseconds. So Inside the duration option, you need to write 03.333 and then press enter on the keyboard. Now click on the crop effect, press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v two times to paste two duplicates. Now place the second crop effect right after the first crop effect and place the third crop effect right after the second crop effect like this. Now click on the first crop effect and look inside the crop effect settings which is present inside the properties window. So look inside the crop effect settings which is present inside the properties window. And inside the crop effect settings you will find this cropped borders section which contains four different options left, top, right and bottom. So inside the left option currently the value is 0%. So you need to delete this value and instead of 0 you need to write 25 semicolon 0 and then press enter on the keyboard. Inside the top option currently the values are 0 semicolon 0 so delete these two values and instead of 0 semicolon 0 you need to write 25 semicolon 0 and then press enter on the keyboard. Inside the right option, currently the values are 100 semicolon 100. So you need to delete these two values and instead of 100 semicolon 100, you need to write 75 semicolon 50 and then press enter on the keyboard. And inside the bottom option, currently the values are 100 semicolon 100 once again. So delete these two values and instead of 100 semicolon 100, you need to write 75 semicolon 50. And then press enter on the keyboard. Perfect. Now next you need to click on your second crop effect and look inside the crop effect settings of this second crop effect. Look inside the cropped borders section once again. Inside the left option currently the value is 0%. So instead of 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 50 and then press enter on the keyboard. Inside the top option, currently the values are 0 semicolon 0, so that's fine. Inside the right option, currently the values are 100 semicolon 100. So you need to delete these two values. And instead of 100 semicolon 100, you need to write 50 semicolon 100. And then press enter on the keyboard. Inside the bottom option, currently the values are 100 semicolon 100. 
So you need to delete these two values and instead of 100 semicolon 100, you need to write 50 semicolon 50 and then press enter on the keyboard. Perfect. Now click on the third and final crop effect and look inside the crop effect settings of this third crop effect. Look inside the cropped borders section once again. Inside the left option currently the value is 0%. So instead of 0, you need to write 50 semicolon 0 and then press enter on the keyboard. Inside top currently the values are 0 semicolon 0 so that's fine. Inside right, currently the values are 100 semicolon 100, so that's fine as well. Inside bottom, once again the values are 100 semicolon 100. So instead of 100 semicolon 100, you need to write 50 semicolon 100 and then press enter on the keyboard, and that's it. So what I've done is I have focused my camera. On the center and as you can see that's why my text is kind of zoomed in because my camera is focused on the center and as the video progresses my camera will first move towards the top left hand side and then it will move towards the top right hand side and then it will expand and show you the entire text so now if I just quickly play the video for you my camera first moves towards top left hand side then it move moves towards top right hand side and then it expands and shows the entire screen perfect so let me just quickly play this video for you once again so this is how you can add movement around a static text in VSTC free video editor so this is not the only way you can add movement around a static text if you play with these values inside left top right and bottom option you can add movement in a variety of different ways so you just need to play around the values here so let me once again quickly play this video for you so this is how you can add movement around a static text in BSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.